Okay. First, I'm gonna say don't do uh, don't do anything I do here at home. I'm doing it here so that you guys don't have to. This uh, I'm gonna show you exactly how I plasticize a compound. So this is Darian Ballard's method. First, you gotta take nine grams of whatever you're planning on plasticizing. Scale takes a little while to register. Yeah, there's nine. Well, oops. Come on. The scale sucks. Close enough. Okay, so that's nine grams of our potassium chlorate and sugar mix. So now what we need <clears throat> is I've already measured out how much uh, plastic is in this uh, compound here. So I I need I know I need four grams of this. equal uh, the half a gram of plastic that I need. Grams right there. Yeah, this stuff stinks. It smells a lot worse than the gasoline, that's for sure. <coughs> because this stuff is full of uh, uh, hexane. Inside. Now we need bar and chain oil. I use 50 weight because that's what I could get my hands on. I need a half a gram of this now too. So.
stuff dries out pretty quick. So. You can see it's already getting sticky. You can speed this up. I'm going to get back to you. After we've, uh, come back after this is uh, started to dry out. Turn on the fan, it's gonna be loud, I know, but the smell is unbearable. The easiest way to do this normally is to uh, have a fan blowing on this while you're uh, mixing it, and that draws off the uh, hexanes, makes it drying a lot quicker. All you really want to do is just drive off the uh, solvent, in this case, hexane, uh, with, uh, with the PIB method, it's uh, gasoline, so it's a mixture of toluene and uh, naphtha. But you can see it's already starting to uh, become stringy. Once it, once it gets to a, uh, a, a little bit drier consistency, I'll be able to pick this up off of the plate and uh, dry it in my hands. But I'm not going to do that until it's uh, a little further along because this thing is, this stuff is still loaded with the hexanes. But ultimately, our, our end goal is to look like this. We want, we want something to, in the end to look like this. I made them look like cool shapes. Triangle, circle, and square. But I'll show you the consistency. Oh, and this is the rubber. This is the rubber that you get out of uh, the Victor. It looks just like the. Uh, it's pretty much just like the uh, PIB. The PIB, I think, is a little more. Uh, it amalgamates a little bit better. But for the most part, it does the same job. want it to have this kind of consistency when you're done. You want to be able to play with it like Play-Doh. I love the way this stuff feels. It feels awesome. You can mold it to any shape you want. going to be our end product. That's 
see how it's starting to pick the stuff up right off of the, the bowl. You'll be able to ball this stuff around. Now it's just about ready to be picked up off of the bowl. Still feels like it's not quite ready yet, but it's gonna dry the shit out of your fingers. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, it's not quite ready yet. It's still, still very stringy. Still not dry yet. Not dry enough yet. I really should have had a fan for this. Handling it with your fingers is what dries it out a little bit faster because your skin absorbs the, the hexane, which is not a good thing. <laughs> so, I'm going to avoid that. But as this stuff dries out more, you'll be able to just roll this stuff off. The more and more it dries, it'll just come right off. It'll roll right off. Like that. Looking better. It's still very, very sticky though. See how it's still crumbly? It wants to kind of like fall apart. It's still wet. But you get the picture. It's plasticized. So now it's, uh, you guys are probably going to want to see a burn test. So this is the tire, um, this is the Victor brand, Victor brand rubber cement. But this is made for uh, repair, uh, tires, all purpose, all types of uh, rubber repairs. Um, you can get this stuff at uh, Walmart, uh, Advanced Auto, AutoZone. I, I haven't tried the slime version, you know, the green stuff. I haven't tried the slime version. I did buy it, but I haven't tried it yet. So I'll try that one next. Uh, this is Darian Ballard's method. It works pretty good. I mean, I, I like it. It's the same thing as the PIB, but we'll see how it, uh, how it fares over time if it still keeps this consistency. Because that, that'll be the true test. Because the PIB stuff stays really malleable. 
uh, over time. It, it, it keeps that uh, Play-Doh-y kind of consistency. So that's the that is the uh, one we just made. That's the, the Victor brand, and this is the PID version. Very similar. You can you can definitely feel the difference. There is a definite difference. This feels more solid, more, uh, I don't know, rubbery, I guess. It feels more, I don't know, it feels good in the hand. It feels solid. It doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart. That kind of feels like it's going to fall apart. But we'll see. We'll see how, how it feels when it's uh, completely dry. But let's take a little piece of this and uh, burn it. burn too much. <laughs> Not right now anyways. When you're making this stuff though, you also have to take into account the rubber that you're putting in here. Because when you mix your, your uh, chlorine and sugar, if you're going to do this like I, like I did, you got to make sure that you have enough uh, oxidizer to burn the fuel and the rubber, the, uh, the PIB or in this case the rubber cement that you're putting in it. That was the my the hard part that I had was trying to find the right composition where it would consume all of the fuel and the uh, the rubber as well the plasticizer. So let's go uh, let's go take a look at this, see how it burns. Okay, let's have a test of how these guys burn. You guys can see it. There we go. This is the PIB, and this is the one we just made. Here's the one we just made. That one looked a little more, uh, a little better, but the same amount of, uh, same amount of uh, residue left over. PIB. Oh, I'm sorry. That's the PIB, and that's the one we just made. So you can see there's still some rubber left in it. So obviously I need more oxidizer. But that was uh, that was how to plasticize uh, a compound. It's really starting to dry out a little more now. So, but uh, I would almost say that this is PIB. I'd bet this is PIB. Just by the way it looks, feels. So we'll see how it looks when it's completely dry. All right. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions. Leave them in the uh, comment section. Or if you have any comments. Thanks for watching, guys.